Hello, Jody from Plant Junkie. Today I'm going to show you guys how to naturally get rid of fungus, fungus gnats, which then lay eggs into the soil, which then turn into larvae, which then damages the roots, which then damages the overall health of your plant. So there are a lot of methods and options you can use. I'm going to show you what works best for me and what I use daily because I have a lot of like moisture loving plants that need consistent watering. So this is what I use. Clove. And they look like that. So one clove in a plastic bag I'm going to crush it, and I'm going to cut the corner off so it's easier to dump out and we can get most of this clove out. And dump it into a jar. And then we're going to use 1 to 5 ratio, so I'm using one clove for 4 ounces of water. This is boiling, this is water that has been boiled. So I am going to dump this in here, give it a good stir. And then I'm going to cover this for about one hour and let it just marinate. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use it right now. Um, we want to create a good concentrate of this clove oil. So this is one four ounces. Now we got to do we got to pour this into five parts, 20 ounces of water. So this only goes up to 16, so I need about four more ounces of water. I'm going to dump it in here for now. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to dump it in my future spray bottle. i got a funnel here. I need four more ounces. And then, this has supposedly been sitting for an hour. You're going to have to strain this and separate them. So what I'm going to use is this funnel and I'm going to dump it into this cup here. And then pour this mixture in here. Now you got your mixture, and what I do is I just shake it up, but what it does is it also kills aphids, and if you have like a fungus bacteria growing on your leaves, your black spots on your roses, um, powdery mildew on top of your soil, I am specifically using this for the gnats that keep flying around. So you can spray this on the soil, the leaves, the stems, anywhere. I've, I've used this mixture on a lot of my plants and I've noticed like I had a mint plant that had a bunch of aphids, um, my roses too, and with the black spots. And I just spray this all over um, one time and then maybe a week later I'll spray the soil again to get rid of, um, to really penetrate the soil and get kill those eggs and larvae. So another method I'm going to use, that's just for like the adult gnats, fungus gnats, and the, and the larvae. 
Um, now I'm going to create a trap for these adult uh, fungus gnats and keep them away. So I like to use apple cider vinegar. Um, another method I've never tried is red wine. Um, I have some old wine and instead of wasting it, I'm going to try it out and see how that works too. So um, the method I'm going to use in making three traps is that pour some wine into this cup. Just joking. And then I'm going to use this funnel because it usually just sits and it's going to create a funnel for these gnats to fly in because they're so curious about the smell. I had too much wine in there. These gnats are going to go in here. Maybe grab a longer jar, but these gnats are going to go into here and um, have a hard time finding their way out and most likely drown. So that's one method. And then the other method is apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to pour some in here. It doesn't really matter how much you use. I'm going to try and conserve mine. And then you get saran wrap. Put it on top. Get a little rubber band. This is a really small rubber band. I don't have any, so I'm using little hair bands. And then I just pull on the saran wrap to make it really, really tight so I can poke holes into this. What I do. So I'm just using a little uh, steak or whatever you want to call it. You can use toothpicks, but I'm just punching a bunch of holes. The bigger this, the holes, like this is perfect size. Just being very generous with these holes because I want to murder these fungus gnats. I hate them. Another sign of fungus gnats is your plant is got fungus on it more prone to rot. And I'm just going to snip away some of these, or the extra saran wrap, I'm not really thinking. And it looks just like that, a bunch of holes with some vinegar. I'm going to show you in my plant room, sunroom, where I'm going to be placing these. I'm going to place three of them. So, I have a sensitive plant, two of them, that requires quite a bit of moisture. Um, I've noticed that they don't like drying out or they start yellowing and the leaves start falling. So this corner is actually my succulent cactus area. Um, this is a south facing window. so. I just want to take care of the gnats on the sensitive plant. And then another area is this area, which is a east facing window. And these contain like my ferns. I've got a couple succulents there propagating, but for the most part, it's a lot of moisture loving plants. And then another spot is this corner where my monstera is that requires a lot of moisture um, got the polka dot plant I got two of those and they just require a lot of a lot of moisture so I'm gonna stick a trap over there see how it goes anyways um thank you for watching and hope you use this method and that it works out for you guys ciao